you know guys, I just don't think I have enough Tesla merch. But that's okay because we have other reasons to get excited. We have our first official next Tesla event on June 3rd for the Plaid Model S. I was very happy to know we weren't going to be guessing and waiting for someone to tweet about it or make a post about it. Elon Musk confirmed just via Twitter, although his tweets have been somewhat bumpy. We kind of need an Elon Musk tracker website if there's any web developers out there. Kind of keep track of everything he says that's going to happen and what does happen and what doesn't happen. But this one I am inclined to believe because it is a delivery event, probably similar to what the Model 3 had when it came out. Ironically, Model Y never had a delivery event. Deliveries just kind of started and some people were making posts about it. So we were kind of unsure when they officially began. But now it sounds like Tesla wants to make it a big deal that the fastest production car ever will be delivering on June 3rd. And hopefully that comes along with a demonstration, a little bit of a speech where they could talk about some of the upgraded changes to the design. That's kind of what they did at the Model 3 delivery event. It was at the Fremont factory and it sounds like they've got a lot of the mass production issues worked out and there were a handful of people that had ordered the Plaid Model S that were seeing their estimated delivery window between June 1st and June 7th, at least according to Sawyer Merritt. So I'm imagining now if those people are going to be invited to this delivery event and if it's at all possible for the public to join or the press to watch, then I'll definitely do my best to attend. No promises, but either way, Tesla events are always interesting because they typically like to bring out a few prototypes and go into some more information that we didn't previously know and hopefully we could see some other potential unveilings or reveals at this event. Hopefully something about the next generation Tesla Roadster, which is of course the other big news that dropped recently because it's been at the Peterson Automotive Museum and this plaque that they put on the next generation Roadster detailed how the tri-motor powertrain is going to enable just the base model of the Roadster to do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Probably rollout subtracted though, so let's be realistic. But on top of that, the reason most people are talking about the Roadster again is because in this plaque, they say that the SpaceX package is happening and having those cold gas thrusters built into the back of the Roadster will enable it to achieve an insane 0 to 60 time of 1.1 seconds. Now, of course, there's some speculation as to whether or not the Peterson Automotive Museum just decided to make this plaque up and just post the specs there for the sake of, we read something online that said the SpaceX package would make it really fast, and at the time of recording this, no one from Tesla, especially not Elon, has discredited that 0-60 to 60 time, and even if that 0-60 to 60 time is inaccurate or not close to what the actual SpaceX package will achieve, it's worth noting that Musk mentioned several times on podcasts in an interviews that the base Roadster would do 0-60 to 60 in 1.9 and that the SpaceX package would go much faster. He's been quoted by saying the Roadster would do a few things that are considered unfair and I think the cold gas thrusters is absolutely one of those unfair advantages in those 0-60 to 60 time tests. So I'm actually inclined to believe it. There have been a few videos that have suggested this is possible in the past. It's just interesting to see a potential plaque or statement that could actually be directly tied with with Tesla or someone who knows more about the Roadster than we do. So here's hoping that we could actually get a next generation Roadster at this event now because Elon Musk did mention in response to someone's tweet about the Roadster that the production model would look a bit different because the prototype that we're all looking at now is still from 2017, right? They were not even building 4680s back when they built that Roadster. So I think there's a good chance that the acceleration, the range, the battery capacity could all be a bit higher higher than what Tesla was originally saying it was going to be way back in 2017. Now Tesla is not always spot on with their timelines, we know that, and oftentimes their vehicles may cost a little bit more than they were anticipating, but when it comes to acceleration and range and quarter mile times and that kind of thing, the production model almost always beats the prototype, and I mean come on. On June 3rd we're going to see first deliveries for the Plaid Model S, and that's supposed to be achieving a sub 2 second 0 to 60 time with rollout subtraction. And that's a four-door sedan, much, much larger than the Roadster. So it only makes sense that a vehicle much smaller than the Model S, probably much lighter with the same amount of power, potentially a larger battery pack than the Plaid Model S. Yeah, that one should definitely accelerate faster. And the truth is, once your 0 to 60 time is sub 2 seconds, it becomes less about how much torque you have and more about how much grip your tires have on the track, which is likely why the Plaid Model S and even Plaid Plus Model S are going to struggle to get any 0 to 60 times much lower
more than two seconds, whereas the Roadster having that SpaceX package is truly the only way they can bypass that because cold gas thrusters have very little to do with the grip of your tires on the track. It's more about just throwing that whole vehicle at an astounding speed in front of you, which I genuinely wonder if they're going to let you do anywhere. We've talked about it on the EV podcast several times, but like, will they software restrict the SpaceX package so that it only works if it detects that you're off like public streets and you're at like a drag strip? Because I can imagine it being very, very dangerous and probably taking advantage of cameras or radar sensors in the Roadster to make sure that you're not going to accelerate into something in front of you that you're not going to be able to stop quick enough at. That's probably my main concern, but either way, I can't wait to see Tesla live stream this event, hopefully, and maybe bring some uh, content creators to it. They might even talk about the Plaid Plus Model S, which was recently spotted by the Kilowatts with an adjustable spoiler, which I think might be restricted to the Plaid Plus variant because we've seen multiple Plaid Model S sightings that don't have the retractable adjustable spoiler. Tesla hasn't really built that on any of their production cars since 2017. So now to see them putting it through the ring again and trying to get a sub 90 second lap time at the Laguna Seca, the fact that it's not like a strapped on, you know, DIY spoiler that we've seen in the past with the Plaid Model S tests makes me think that spoiler is something that comes with the Plaid Plus variant because you're going to be spending an extra 30 grand on the 4680 battery. So Tesla might as well throw in a little extra specialty hardware with that configuration. So seeing the spoiler on the Model S looks really, really cool to me. It's kind of reignited my love of that iconic design and hearing all this news about the Roadster gets me pumped. Even if the 1.1 seconds isn't true and maybe that's someone at the Peterson Museum just making stuff up. But I hope you guys are excited as I am for the rollout of all these Plaid powertrains. I hope people enjoy the vehicles once they come out. I can't wait for the Jay Leno special as well. And of course, as soon as it's possible to test drive one of these suckers, I'll definitely let you know. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Take care.